Hey guys, welcome back. So today we got a 2023 Kona N. Customer complained that parking sensor at the back is not working. So I'm gonna go reverse. And we got this message here, ultrasonic sensor error blockage. Um, scan for codes here. We got all four sensors are all have fault. And as you can see, this vehicle has been taken apart. Um, new BCR module there at the back because um, they saw a corrosion on the connector on the joint connector at the back uh, at the bottom of the bumper um, where the extension harness is connected so they replaced that first and part of the harness because um, it's corroded on that side too so I'm gonna show you guys on that and what they did so at least at least it's taken apart i inherited this from another tech but i hope we can fix this or find the issue at least right now it's all taken apart it's easier for me to poke some wires and see what's going on but let's just see here we got some history code here okay battery low voltage okay i'm gonna hook up a um, battery charger on this one at least so that we get a good steady voltage while testing um so let's go to data let's just check here what's going on because they replaced the bcm all parking sensors um, extension harness on the bumper that that connects to the parking sensors and the main harness so let's see here what we have so left rear center right right rear okay let's graph that i'm gonna go reverse and it shows bus off right away so there's clearly a fault here now let's go to the trunk at least i can show you guys and then i guess the only thing we can do some testing on this one is hook up our scope okay so we're in the trunk area right now and for some reason the customer doesn't want <laughs> to do the whole harness because that's the whole floor harness he doesn't want the car to be taken apart i don't know why it's warranty that's free so he approved for a splice so they did some splicing here on this um harness here so we're gonna check our signals here what's going on so that um, we can assess um, what's really the issue in this vehicle all right guys so i'm done with setting up my scope here so as you can see i tap in on this side of the harness i don't want to go down um, but there's one connection there our ground connection because on our wiring diagram here so on this side fr11 that's down that's the one the big connector that they replace so two and three two is the power going to the sensors supplied by the bcm that's the red and the blue is the signal right and the ground for that is pin number one right fr11 that's ground so i just went to the sensor for our ground that's just to see um so on our so on our scope right now as you follow my mouse our blue that should be our signal our lean bus the red will be our supplied power from the bcm going to the sensor and green that's gonna be our ground right sensor ground but when i hook up this blue um it's showing now almost battery voltage right it's 11 and i think that should not read like that when when the vehicle is off right so before i'm gonna turn it on and see our capture here what's going on um let me take off this lead and put a test light if we have a short to power here on our lean bus right okay here's my test light here I'm just gonna remove our blue 
probe I'm gonna connect our ground here this ground is connected directly to the battery so I'm just gonna put our test light here so it doesn't do anything okay but why is it reading 12 volts there so let me just reconnect this that's the question now why is it reading 12 volts and why is it the correct color blue because there's another color here blue black so that's the correct color okay so i'm gonna turn on our um car just ignition on and put it in reverse and see our data here okay ignition on in reverse okay and then let's let's see our um what do you call that our scope capture okay so here's our scope capture what do we have so our there's communication there right how about our ground? Where's our ground? Why is over... What? Let me put in 20 volts. Okay. My ground... Is showing 12 volts? What? And my red... Is showing... What's well, my power here? That's almost 12 volts. My green, that's ground. That should not be like 12 volts because I'm ground here, going straight to ground. Okay, so something is not right. Are we missing ground? Looks like. So let me look at ground here. I think pin number one is our, see, uh, pin number one. FR11 so that's ground so I'm gonna look for that black wire from that connection there at the bottom so pin number one will be uh, that's kinda can I make this light stand up okay so pin number one will be this black wire here so i'm gonna go up and see do we have ground there right because on the sensor directly showing 12 volts unless i'm not um i'm not pinned correctly there but we have communication but our ground is missing looks like so let me find this ground here and then um check our signal on that one on our scope okay so I connected our pin number one that go into the connector for ground that's gonna be our yellow so here's our yellow here and that reads zero right that's good ground so it's either we have open going in there because that should read like that we have the same ground right so what I can do is I can try to put a jumper here supply the ground and see if if um, what do you call that if it will fix the issue or something like that so So right now, I'm just using a test light. Just gonna put this one here. Nothing? Okay. So it's either I am. Am I connected there? Especially on that ground? Okay, let me take this off first. And then put the ground connection from there because it's from battery, right? Going here.
Okay, so um, I connected our yellow, our yellow to FR11 here, pin number one, and we got the same reading on our green. If you follow my mouse, yellow and green. Green is our ground going to the sensor. So it looks like we have an open going in there. Because when we connect it from this harness, we have good ground, right? So now, um, I'm gonna remove my yellow, put my test light on the positive end, right? That's positive on my other end of the test light. Put my test light on that yellow probe, and we should expect a light here if it has a ground. If not, it's missing ground there. So, let me do that. Okay, so here's our yellow. I went to the joint connector itself there and that's reading 12 volts as per our reading on our scope. Let me touch this guy. Now we don't have any light. That should have ground there. Does it light here? No. That doesn't light up. So, <coughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the jumper wire from this guy here going on to that main uh, not the main, but the joint connector FR11. Is it FR11? Yeah, FR11. Pin number one for the ground. And uh, let's see our capture again. Okay, so I put a jumper there going in. And let's see our reading first here. Let me stop and play. What's going on? Play. Okay. So, um, Battery voltage right now, we got, what, 11. Um, the LIN is reading around 10. And our ground, right? You see the ground there? That's zero, almost zero volts. Also on the green, right? Uh, you can see that line there that's going on the line on here and the green is started on here so let's try starting this vehicle not starting but put in reverse and let's see what we have okay ignition on I'm gonna go reverse. Oh, you can see there. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> so we have missing ground. Let's check our, um, what do you call that? Our scope capture and see what's going on there. Okay, here's our scope capture. Let me just stop this first and then go back. So here's our scope capture. I want to turn that off and then turn it on. As you can see there, our battery voltage just rise. But usually on our lean bus, I don't know why is it showing there um, all the time there's a voltage there because I know I, I know that it starts from zero unless the vehicle needs to sleep for a while but anyway um, this part here if you follow my mouse from off to ignition on as ignition on try to communicate first and by that time when I said, hey, let's go reverse. And then this is our communication, our, our lean bus. Our ground is staying there on ground, which is good, right? And same thing, our green, right? So earlier when we probed it without jumping the ground from this side here of the harness going down to the connector, it was elevated right it should not be elevated because you're ground to ground there should be no difference there so and we thought that maybe this um, 
which one did I said that it could be uh, short to ground oh no short to power oh yeah the blue one the lean bus but I don't think that's I guess in this case in this vehicle there's a voltage there even though the car is off so anyway um, yeah we have a missing ground on this and this repair here so I'm just gonna repair that um, what do you call that that missing ground and then and then give it to the tech again to put everything to, for put everything back together in this one because I'm not putting this back together so yeah let me fix that wire first and let's go back and see um, to check the operation of the parking sensors all right guys so I repaired the wire there our missing ground so we're just gonna go inside the car, check our codes, and check our parking operation, parking parking sensor operation, make sure that it's working before we call it a day. And then, yeah. All right guys, so we're inside the car right now. I'm gonna rescan for codes here. Let's see what we have. No codes found, let me try again. We scan. Oh, what happened? What's going on with this scan tool? Like, I'm just gonna go. Oh, oh. DTC. Oh man, it's acting up again. Come on. GDS. DTC. Okay, so we don't have codes. We scan. No codes on the BCM data. Now we go to the parking sensors. Left, center, center, right rear. Graph. Putting in reverse now. And it's detecting now. There's a warning there. Which is good. Our cluster is showing now, even our audio unit, right? So here's our scope capture. I took out our other leads. We know already that it's a ground issue, but here on our red, that's what's this? 11, 11.8. That's ignition on. Uh, battery is too, I guess, too weak a little bit. I'm gonna zoom in and let's see our communication here, our lean bus. So that's how the lean bus looks like. Um, that's starting from 10.68 or 10.7. Okay, 10.7. That's going down to 1.7. 1.7. Uh, no, 1.1 volts. So yeah, we got a missing ground on this one. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I guess quick. A diagnosis on this <laughs> parking sensor and let me know what you guys think and thanks again for watching see you next time